Trinidad Hilton was today the host to a Deal Shaker Expo, where shoppers had the opportunity to peruse a vast number of boots and pay for their items totally, or in part, with cryptocurrency. The event put together by the One Life Network was an effort to promote the use of cryptocurrency, which they believe represents the future of trading. Janine Brown reports. The One Life Cryptocurrency Expo featured some 75 vendors offering products ranging from jewelry, delicacies, foreign use of vehicles, and what many claim as the national dish, doubles. Cryptocurrency has been gaining popularity the world over, despite the fact that many governments have not yet established regulations for its use. Independent marketing associate with One Life, Kimral Ali, believes it's the price of innovation, taking a risk. He explains One Life has implemented a certain policies to reduce the chance for people to use the coin system for illegal activities such as money laundering. Each individual has to be KYC approved. KYC means know your customer, so every individual must upload a photo ID of themselves as well as proof of address, which is verified by the company, before you're able to transact business. He's confident the benefits outweigh the concerns. He says that the system has the potential to solve trading problems which exist today. When last did you go to the bank to get foreign exchange? You know the issues surrounding that. But with cryptocurrency, you literally can transact business throughout the world and you don't need to find the currency of that nation. And that's one of the major benefits. Vendors were equally optimistic about a future in cryptocurrency. This is the future. And being that it's into the future, I want to be able to be a person on top of my game. A lot of things are unregulated, but it's like if it really compared to it's like a credit card. At one time, we didn't know anything about credit cards, and people were accepting it. Earlier this year, the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago said it was in the process of finalizing a policy on cryptocurrency with the hope for publication later this year. Janine Brown, C News.